In Money Works tonight, it looks good on the lot, but once you get those new wheels home, buyer's remorse can set in. If you lease the car, it's been hard to get out of the deal until now. We're working for you tonight with the latest on some new online lease swapping services. After Don Oldenbutt leased a new SUV, she knew it was a mistake almost immediately. My husband said, well, you know, just stick it out. You'll probably get to where you love it. I didn't love it. Dawn was stuck paying for a car she didn't like. Under a four-year lease, the cancellation fees made it financially impossible to turn the car back in. It would have been about $7,000. That's when Dawn started searching for options. She came across a website called leasetrader.com. Here's how it works. Dawn advertised her vehicle on the website. An interested driver selected her vehicle and contacted Dawn by email. He wanted my car. I wanted to get rid of my car. The next step is most important, credit check. They um, had to credit qualify the person who assumed my lease, which would totally relieve me of my responsibilities financially. Basically, the interested party is applying for what's called a car lease assumption. That's when they take over the lease payments with the approval of the original leasing bank, assuming all responsibilities under the original agreement. Once they're approved by the original leasing party, it's a done deal. It was pretty easy. The service isn't free. You pay $80 to advertise your vehicle. When you finally reach a deal, the price goes up. You pay leasetrader.com an additional non-refundable $250 brokerage fee, money that Dawn says was well spent. A car is a personal decision, and once you've signed that paperwork and you've driven off the lot, it's yours, like it or not. By the way, there's another website besides leasetrader.com that offers similar services. It's called swapalease.com.